between Virginia and Northwestern. Michael D'Agostino with the biggest win for Northwestern of this duel here at Memorial Gym. Thanks so much for tuning in, watching some college wrestling with us. Again, volleyball and between Virginia and Wake Forest were in action earlier today at this very gym. We got a treat, we got some good competition here between two of the top programs in the country. Northwestern ranked at number 15. Eric Rogge will wrestle for Virginia. At 133 against Chris Cannon. Cannon dives underneath looking for a takedown single leg. He doesn't get it, that leg, and it looks like Rogi in the splits there. What a tough position for that right knee of Rogi. And now he extends that whole leg out. Cannon looking for the takedown, now grabs both legs, and he gets it. Two here for Northwestern and Chris Cannon. And now picks him up, wheelbarrows him to the edge. And Rogi and Cannon will go to the center. Riding time at eight seconds in favor of Northwestern. Yeah, again, so Northwestern leaves 17 to 10. Took a 6-0 advantage, wins with Yaya Thomas, Trevor Chumbly. UVA fought back, tied it at the 10. A decision victory from Michael Batista. But Northwestern has distanced themselves with a Michael D'Agostino major decision win in the 125. Rogi trying to battle back, give Virginia some hope. He does it there, gets the escape point, it's 2-1. Here in the 133. Rogi again, a freshman from Smithfield, Virginia. Went to St. Christopher's School. With 106 to go here in the first period. 2-1 advantage for Chris Cannon, who has three letters, a redshirt junior from Oceanport, New Jersey. Went to Blair Academy. He was actually an All-American last year. Who finished seventh at the NCAA Championships. And eighth, or excuse me, fifth at the Big Ten Championships. Wrestled in a, a pair of close, close matches at the Michigan State Open did Cannon. Went one and one, both by decision. And they're out there with 24 and a half to go in period one. Again, the second to last bout here of the night. Still have the 141s to go. And Rogi looking for the takedown. He gets it. Virginia looking for more. Riding time going back down towards zero at 14. Rogi on top and the freshman from Smithfield. What a big play there. Takes a three to lead the blocks on. And we've got a challenge coming. Block is thrown onto the mat. That signifies a challenge from Virginia. Steve Garland wants them to look at it. Not sure exactly what they're going to take a look that at, but Virginia definitely wanted a bit more 
And maybe looking for a near fall. A 3-2, Rogi does get the takedown. And the officials are going to look at it. Rogi, listed as a freshman, competed last year for Virginia. Went 12-6. and six. He competed unattached. Competed at, Southeast, at the Southeast Open, the Wolfpack Open. And had actually a first place finish at the Southeast Open. Went 5-0 and oh on that day. Last year had seven bonus point victories, four pins, a tech fall, two major decisions. And yeah, we're going to get another look. So, Rogi, take a look at the whole sequence here. So, yeah, so right here is when he got the takedown. A near fall call. We'll see what the call is. It's coming up here in a second. So, so it'll stands. Excuse me, it'll stand. It'll be three two. Rogi and the takedown will be that call on the floor. So. Two minutes on here in a second. Riding time at eight seconds. It came down, but still in favor of Northwestern. Cannon will start on the bottom here. Rogi on top at the 133. This is big. You see Rogi has him wrapped up. Riding time at four seconds. Now picks up that, he's got both legs. The right one in the air. Again, pretzeled up for Chris Cannon. Four seconds, riding time still there and they whistle it dead. At 1.35 to go here in period two. Second to last battle of the night between Cannon and Rogi. Frankie Tal Shahar will fight, will wrestle for Northwestern at 1.41. Against Dylan Sedano for Virginia. And depending how this finishes, a lot on the line. 17 to 10 Northwestern leads. If Virginia and Rogie can get a decision victory, UVA will have a chance down the stretch with Sedano in a good position too. Boy, how good is Sedano, the Fairlawn, New Jersey native. 55 seconds left in period two. At 133. And there's Cannon looking for the takedown. He's got a hold of the right leg of Rogi. And Rogi has the left leg of Cannon. 21 seconds, and they're out. Take it back to the middle with 17.8. Rogi in high school, a three-time Virginia State champion, an Ironman All-American, one of the better high school wrestlers in the country out of high school. Now has contributed to this UVA squad 3-3, three, three, and the biggest third period coming up after the buzzer. Rogi starts on bottom for Northwestern. Chris Cannon on top. They whistle that dead. Two minutes remain on the clock here in period three. 17 10 Northwestern leads. And he flips him. Virginia.
Wants the takedown. They want a call. The whole Virginia sideline almost on the mat. Garland leading the charge. Holding his players back. Cannon wrapped around the race to Rogi. Pulls him down on top. Riding time at 27 seconds. And this would be big. He's 30 seconds away from getting that big riding time point. And they're off the mat. Huge for Virginia. Riding time stops at 39 seconds. Virginia fans on their feet. This is big. Down the stretch, 3-3. UVA needs it to stay alive in the match. And the officials might take a look. That's something here. 101 to go. Looked like Northwestern head coach Matt Storniolo. Now the block didn't come out. So he did have a word with an official. And Storniolo, I guess, got in the air, their ear, persuaded them to take a look at the monitors. It's exactly what they're doing. Three to three, one minute left in the third. Well, I don't know if you all heard that at home, but the news that Virginia women's soccer knocked off Penn State, advancing to the NCAA quarterfinals. So good news for Virginia. All these Virginia athletes are fighting for, for more than just sports in this past week. And weeks to come. 3-3, three, three, they're still taking a look at the monitor here. Eric Rogi and Chris Cannon. Virginia needs a decision win here to stay alive. They trail it 17 to 10. It would be huge if Virginia's able Probably not going to get a major decision here, but if they're able to get a decision win with the freshman Eric Rogi, that would be a marquee win for him. And the first duel of the season against number 15, Northwestern. We'll see what they looked at and what the call is. Didn't have any reviews, have a couple here in this match alone. And so, score remains 3-3, Cannon on top. Rogi will start on bottom. Cannon has a grasp around the waist of Rogi. Has the riding time point. It's up to 107. Looking for a take down there. Doesn't get it, 3-3, but Northwestern has the advantage with the riding time point, can the freshman Rogi pull it off late for Virginia? The legs tangled up near side of the mat. Riding time at 90 seconds now for Chris Cannon. The Oceanport, New Jersey native is looking to put the finishing touches on Virginia and Eric Rogi. 14 seconds. Virginia wants the call that they're off the mat. No call from the official. Riding time at a minute 52. And looking for the takedown with one second. And Virginia. Virginia. 
and Northwestern finish knotted at three. And the riding time point gives Northwestern the win at 133, and it's 20 to 10. Northwestern.